Hello and welcome to episode two of the Goldmouth Ramble podcast. Uh, an England special tonight after the game against Malta on Saturday. We're just watching the last 20 minutes of Slovenia versus England. It's been and pretty, loving it. Yeah, pretty poor. I, yeah, Joe Hart's been our best player, hasn't he? Yeah, that, well, no one else has come close to doing anything. That save uh, for... At the beginning of the second half, mm. and then just just two yeah. minutes ago as well, keeping us in it. But um, well, point away at Slovenia. It's not. It's not horrendous. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll see. We'll get to it. Hopefully, Rashford comes on soon, and we'll. Ah, oh, Rooney's going to come on and bag a bag an trick in the last ten minutes. I can see it. I can see it happening. I really can. Um, right. So, quiz question for this week that we're going to yeah, do. We, we had twenty five players last week, so we're narrowing it down to twenty three this week, making yeah. it a little bit easier. Um. And because of Gareth Southgate's inauguration, is that the word? Uh, yeah. That's the word. Yeah. Inauguration as England manager, we thought we'd hark back to uh, a bit more of a classical England team, World Cup 98 squad. So we're looking for any of the 23 players that were named in the World Cup 98 squad. Mm-hmm. Um, who was, he, who was even the manager back then? Glenn Hoddle. Glenn Hoddle. Yeah. Well, he knows his football, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Just before he got sacked for... <laughs> Talking about wheelchair people, <laughs> said something about that. I can't remember. I was too young, but yeah, I remember that. So yeah, so play along. You've got till the end of the episode to come up with your your twenty three players, mm-hmm. and we'll reveal the answers about, at the end. About half an hour, forty five. We'll see. Well, we'll see how it goes. Whatever it is. Start with the serious stuff. Let's talk about the Malta game on Saturday. Yeah, let's go for it. Um, um, well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> says it. not much it says to talk it all. about. An Are easy we... win, but not very exciting. Well, uh, at the end of the day, it should have always been easy. I mean, the yeah. first first half we played brilliantly. Um, yeah, admittedly against Malta, but um, we could have easily scored. Five or six in that in the first, first half, half yeah. and then, not in the second, and then half. the second half was appalling. Yeah. Oh, Rooney's on. Yeah, Rooney's just Rooney come on. on. He's barking. He's gone off Henderson, I'm guessing. He's Deli Ali. Oh, so he he's it. just took he's it. just taking it off Henderson. Fair enough. Yeah. Give it your lad. So yeah, Sturridge's Sturridge's goal was good. Good header. Yeah, good ball by Henderson. Um, Sturridge, pop, as I say, Sturridge could have had Sturridge could have had a hat trick on his own. Deli Ali could have had a hat trick as well. Yeah, Deli Ali's goal would have been better if he'd finished it first time. But, uh, well, you've got to be aware in it. all counts. Uh, yeah, and then second, yeah, we were really good first half. And then second half, second I don't half know just, what. It probably just switched off. We just looked like we were happy with 2-0 against Malta, which is <laughs> Against mental. a bunch of plumbers. Yeah. Um, Walcott, ineffective. Mm, Lingard played usual. well. Lingard was good. Sturridge was good the other night. Henderson played well. Uh, John Stones was all right, I think. I remember, yeah. yeah. Well, there's a lot of talk about Rooney being dropped, but I think it was probably the right decision from the performances on on Saturday. He was the weak link, yeah, uh, definitely in midfield for that game. He got, I mean, he got nutmeg by <laughs> by, well, by by plumber or, yeah. or a builder, didn't he? None Maybe. of his passes connected. He, I don't know. It just everything that goes wrong with Rooney was on show against Muller. Yeah, and he he does. He, yeah, if he, if you need to drop someone, it would have been him definitely. Yeah, we should point out at this this point. It's a bit quiet. That, um, oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> that Sam is with us tonight. He had to work. Can you believe it? He put put work before work and money before the goal mouth ramble an podcast. amateur football podcast. Yeah, in its early stages. Thanks for abandoning us on that one. But yeah. um, so for all that funny wit that all this episode will be missing. Crazy distractions about mental haircuts and stuff. That's, yeah, that's, that's not there this week. We're going serious this week. We're never going to go serious. I don't know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the mo- I mean, well, Southgate win in his first match. It's all right. I mean, if he'd have done anything but win, yeah, he'd be like, sacked. He'd have been straight up. Um, not the man for the job. But, is yeah. he still the manager under 21s? No, AD no. Boothroyd stepped up. Oh, I forgot about him. <laughs> Watford legend. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, they won 5 0 uh, tonight, didn't they? Today, yeah, earlier today. Bosnia. Yeah, so they're qualified for the. Euros, Euros next, next summer. year, I don't yeah, know they which we might yet, win. But we're looking good for that. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of these players from the first eleven, the first eleven um, that can 
step forward into yeah, that. Yeah, people like really. Stones, Rashford, Ali, Stones, Rashford, Lingard. Dyer and Ali still yeah, as well, I think. there's a lot of people that can step up for They're that probably, if needed. I mean, yeah, I hope they stick I with... They need them. I hope they stick with the team that's got them where they are, but yeah, if, you can, if you can Chuck take... a couple in, maybe. Yeah, if you can take people like... Go on. Oh. If you can take people like Ali and Dyer with bags of experience yeah. at I think such Rashford a will age. probably go. I think he probably will, yeah. It's worth it for him. He's not yeah, he needs experience. Well yeah, tournament experience. Give it, I mean I know he came on as a sub against uh, Wales, didn't he, at the Euros, yeah. but um No, he needs the experience of time. experience of playing in a to- in an international tournament yeah. and standing in good stead. Danny Rose has just missed an alright chance with his right foot though, so Gas Southgate's uh, donning the, the Venga uh, coat yeah. this evening. It does look very very Arsenal esque. <laughs> it's just a dull guy to look at, isn't he? He is. I mean, we've said his coat's the main feature of what we're talking about in four. We were saying at half time, and it's a pretty poor tonight against Slovenia. It's a pretty poor mm. first half. We can't imagine him going in, giving a rollicking. Yeah, going in a and rollicking from Gareth. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, nobody wants he that. He won't listen to that. But like, yeah, like you see those videos of Warnock what? of, of surface oh, this week. I can't so imagine rich. Southgate doing one of those. No. Oh, Sturridge has just missed a, a good chance oh, again. What and about, is this? Defensively tonight, by the way, England have been abysmal. abysmal. A sort of rush. Slovenia have looked threatening, which even, I mean, no offence to Slovenia even, but they shouldn't be threatening. Well, Slovenia's best player is their goalkeeper, isn't he? Yeah. On back. Good keep. Um, yeah, so leading on from the Malta crap, um, <laughs> a little conversation that always comes up because of my appearance. Basically, Jake looks Eastern European. Yeah. And we always talk about do I like? Can I find out if I'm eligible to play for a bit of a shit country? You you get in. you explored your San Marino links, didn't you? Yeah, that, that didn't, didn't work out. Didn't come to fruition. What yeah. else have we looked into? Kazakhstan. <laughs> I don't think that worked either. Um, do you reckon you'd get in the Kazakhstan team? Yeah. No, I don't think you would. Well, put ball out up top. Top in twenty three man squad for a tournament. Maybe. You reckon? Yeah. But no, it's yeah, it's teams like Malta and San Marino where they, really where they've got like P teachers and stuff. You'd like to think with a bit of bit of training under your belt. Yeah, if I knew could, about it earlier yeah. on I'd I'd have pushed for it, yeah. But now it's probably too late now. But um so yeah, an open question to All of all of you all listeners. Thirty two listeners. Well, thirty nine if you include SoundCloud as well. Yeah. Um, which is good. We're happy with that. We were we were happy with anything good. before, I think we said. <coughs> yeah, before <laughs> would have been brilliant. So, so 39, 39, nearly 40, that's good. Uh, so, yeah, all 40 of you, if you could uh, tweet us or mail in. At. What national team, yeah, what national team would you pick, realistically, if you could have that as your little obscure heritage, maybe maybe family member played away back in the day, got a bit of Romanian in you, or... I mean, I've seen a lot of countries. I don't Vatican know. City. I don't think they have a. They, they, they have a team, can they? Then maybe like the walking, walking football. Well, what's the what's the team we've just started? A team. Uh, Kosovo. Shakira. Yeah, Kosovo. Maybe I could go Kosovo. You see, I'm, I'm 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 blonde and fair. I'm I'm more looking Scandinavian. Maybe. Yeah. But what is there there? There's not Greenland. Have they got a team? <laughs> don't think they have. No. Yeah. So if yeah, if you can think of any teams that would be a that you'd stand a good shot of getting into the national team. Let us know. We'll talk about that. It's always funny. I always enjoy thinking about emailing random national team managers and just saying, "Give us a game. Give us a DNA test first, and then see what happens." Uh, so yeah, let us know. And with the with the quality of our national pool in England, it'll not be long before we're getting plumbers in to play. No. Oh, Rashford's coming Rashford's on. Rashford's coming on. Thank Super God. sub. Ten Either. minutes again, though. It's not enough time for him, is it? Really? They no. Never give him enough time. I mean, the, he, he came on with, with what, five of that game against Wales in the yeah, Euros, he came on for about ten, yeah, ten minutes. He, did he not set up the goal? Did he not I set think up so, he was part goal? of it. Was it Vardy who scored against Wales? Yeah, Vardy scored the winner. I think Rashford were involved. Well, had, no, but did more... Vardy, did we beat Wales? I don't even know, was it 1-1 or 2-1? I don't even know what the score was. 2-1, last minute Vardy, yeah. Was it not, oh, it's uh, Sturridge last minute. Sturridge last minute, sorry, yeah, yeah, Vardy scored first one. Yeah. Um, But yeah, Rashford's a dangerous player. Against Wales, I think he had he had more touches in that five minutes than anyone in the whole game. <laughs> but yeah, we still leave him on the bench for eighty minutes. Yeah, Sturridge has been poor tonight. 
Mm, I'd have, have pulled him very, off very after, after half an hour. Well, uh, well, yeah, bring in the airport workers and the bank managers and stuff. See if okay, they can on. do a job. So, moving on to minnows of a different description. Um, this week, or more. Should I say within since the, the, last the last podcast? Week, yeah, yeah, since the last podcast. Um, there's been two debuts in the w- football world um, that have uh, yeah, ridiculous reasons. Um, there was young um, Dembele at Celtic, who was 15. 13. 13. 13. Good yeah, grief. Tiny little guy. 13. And then the chap for Mus- Galatasaray. Mustafa Kape. Galatasaray. I think, I think he had to play for the full Galatasaray team as well. It went even because he. The Dembele for Celtic were there in the 23s, yeah. weren't it? Or whatever. 20s, yeah. Uh, but that was Mustafa Kapi, 14 Played years old. Played for the full, full Actually came off the full Galatasaray Galatasaray is an, an intimidating... If you, we always see them on the TV. <laughs> yeah, I don't like to play Fireworks that. everywhere. I wouldn't even, yeah, if I was a Galatasaray player every week, I'd be like, oh, bloody hell, what's going to happen today? Yeah, I'd be scared to come on. 14-year-old coming on to do that. Crazy. I don't know how he did, actually. I don't know if he did well or not. No. But, um, I don't even know where he plays or anything. No, but, but it's still interesting. But he might be able to play for England, so... Yeah, hopefully Dan Belly can. Dan Belly. I think he looks all right, doesn't he, as well? He did... He did I watched footage of yeah, him. Yeah, I think their um, I think their manager said he like well, it wasn't much praise, but I think he said he didn't look out of place, well, which is kind of that's, that's yeah, that's, I'd take that as good 13. as it good as it gets for yeah, a thirteen year old. I think Man City wants signing. Like and Barca have apparently well, yeah, so, well, he's thirteen and making appearances. Yeah, he's for, got to sign him. He's up. playing seven years. Too for Celtic already. <laughs> <laughs> thirteen, he's too good for Celtic. Yeah, I'd sign him definitely, just in case you never know. Could yeah. be the next Freddie Adu. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so we thought, because of the uh, of those two players making their debuts at such young ages, we thought about other young prodigies that have... Wonder kids. That have fallen foul of the... Um, <coughs> yeah, the hype, isn't it, really? Fallen foul of the hype, off. and I think the, the ultimate is Freddie Adu. Yeah, I mean, I think he was doing, at the age of 17, wasn't he, doing like adverts on TV with Pele for Nike and stuff? Mm. Massive football manager legend as well. If you got, as soon as you got a football manager, sign him because really. he's going to be class. Yeah. And then. And then yeah, he's. I don't he's even been, know why it happened as well. What happened to him? He just. I don't. I don't know if it was injuries or if it was attitude or. Probably attitude. I think he's come out and said that. Um, and he's come out and said he take he like he doesn't want any sympathy for it. It's all his own fault. So fair, he's not getting <laughs> <laughs> fair play to him for that, but yeah. Crazy. So you said he was selling vacuums at one point. Uh, well, I don't. I, he, I, I saw something on Twitter that it might not have been like a door to door. He wasn't like David Brent at the vacuum world. <laughs> he was. He was. Um, he was promoting them on Twitter. Oh, well, that's say. good. That's good enough for us to criticise. Yeah, but I, but still, if there's still if companies still approaching him and wanting their his endorsement, he must be doing something right. Yeah, true. But um, no. yeah, I thought he. I thought he'd stop playing football, but I mm. found out when I researched him that he's playing for. Tampa Bay, I think he's been signed oh, up for another year. Good then. Um, so well, it's still better than we'll ever do. Yeah, um, but he's been signed up by his his the his ex under twenties manager for the American national team is the manager there now. Right, and he's come out and said like, I know he's shocking, but I'm going to sign him because yeah, I know he's twenty seven, isn't he now? Twenty seven, mm. yeah. But yeah, if your own manager is even coming out at your press yeah. conference when he signs, <laughs> right, I know he's been shy the last five years, but. Um, give him a chance. But give him a chance. It's a charity case, really, isn't it? It is. I don't know if how much he'd be on. I can't imagine he'd be on a on a hefty sum. At, Again, at, still at better than we're on the, the we've not been selling vacuums. No. Maybe we should. Maybe that's the key. Maybe that's what we need to do instead of this. Should we just sack this off? <laughs> just sell vacuums <laughs> instead. Uh, other wonder kids we found then. Um, well, fall. not so much wonder. Well, yeah, it was wonder well, kids. Well, you're not say wonder, but uh, when they first burst onto the scene, there was a lot of hype about them, and they. Didn't and no, yeah, potential. some of them still did all right, but just not as good as they should have. Um, I mean, Michael Johnson at Man City, he was yeah. a, well, a bit of a sorry case, wasn't he? he yeah, I he think he was one of the, time. he was one of the players that it all got a bit he got a bit too much too young. Yeah, the same with the do, I suppose. Yeah, uh, but yeah, he, Michael Johnson looked class though. He, he really did. did look good. Um, but I think he fell foul of drink and gambling mm. and uh, overeating. Yeah, like an eating disorder. Is this him here? I'm got up here. Yeah. Boozing, overeating, gambling, drink driving. If you're listening, Michael, sorry for this rap sheet that we're just reading <laughs> out. But no, but I, I think it's it's. I can't imagine how difficult it would be for young players thrown into to the the professional football, especially in the Premier League. There's so much media coverage of it. Yeah. It's absolutely crazy. See that? 
10 games for Man City and he got 10 million in wages throughout his career. He only played 10 games for City? Yeah, I thought he played more than that. I thought he played for at least a season. He played for the well, Sven, like... weren't it, when he was there? Was it not Mark, Mark Hughes, was it as well? Possibly, maybe crossed over. Yeah, uh, but he's a bit of a, yeah, a, bit of a sorry case in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> An even more sorry case, but we don't feel any sympathy for him, is, is Francis Jeffers. <laughs> <laughs> awful, awful. When he were well, Everton, though, he were class. He, got, really an, he got an England cap, did he not? England goal as well. Did he? One, one cap, cap, one goal. goal. Yeah, against was Australia. In, in, in the same club as David Nugent. That's yeah. how good his, his international career yeah, was. Yeah, I think it was a move to, to Arsenal that ruined him. Shock. Mm-hmm. If you go to Arsenal, your career's dead. Obviously. Oh, that's a bit naughty by Gary Cahill there. Yeah, he got a bit ruined. Oh, that's over the top of the ball. That he's lucky to be on the pitch. He did get obviously got the ball, but Look at his face. So Look at his nose, Rudolph. <laughs> the boozer. <laughs> Always kicking it's off. All yeah. kicking off. Eric dies in the thick of it, as per usual. Lingard's a bit mouthy as well. The heart's dragging him away. Good lad. This is chaos. This We're is chaos. Score as well, so it's probably going to be. Oh, now, it's right? kicking off as well. Rooney's oh, peacemaker. Rooney, look at that class. If he if he, he doesn't, just drop if somewhere. he doesn't bring anything else to the team, yeah. he brings better brains. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Francis Jeffers. I remember um, he signed for Sheffield Wednesday. My brother had a, a football program from a, a match when he was there, and uh, they did an interview with him, and it's the most boring interview I've ever read in my life. <laughs> they asked him if he's got any nicknames. He said, "Oh, just, just Franny Jeffers, really." Isn't that not just his name? Yeah. <laughs> like, he said, what what radio station do you listen to in the car? Oh, I don't listen to the radio. All right, all right, Francis. Uh, have you got any tattoos? No, I would never get a tattoo. No way. And then he said, what's, uh, what's the best prank you've ever pulled on a teammate? And he said, I once told a lad that the manager wanted to see him, but he didn't want to see him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just awful person. Just such a dull case. Uh, Worse than Milner, definitely. Yeah, I Milner's not got more, a bit more about it. I suppose there's not more boring Francis boring. Jeffers. Well, if you, if, you still, him, if you were still playing in this day and age, there'd be hundreds yeah. of accounts, boring Jeffers accounts. Yeah. Uh, Michael Richards as well, we said a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I mean, again, I mean again, he played for England, right. he played for Sin, he's played in the Premier League for nearly 10 yeah, years. But, but he's but never as good as... When he first burst onto the scene for England, I was like, mm. crikey, you've got a proper player here yeah um, when he scored that who did he score in FA Cup weren't it on BBC and he was swearing in the interview yeah <laughs> he was like, how are you feeling like, oh fucking amazing <laughs> yeah, oh you're, you're live on TV and he stops swearing he's like oh sorry 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 yeah just, oh, I just feel fucking buzzing man. <laughs> <laughs> good he's... guy but well not anymore no after the whole Twitter debacle when Villa went down yeah and they tweeting fun. about cars and stuff well, that was and like that oh was it yeah well yeah what yeah. did Richards? Oh no, Richards had to go. Had to go with the fans. So, yeah, 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 He was like in. He was in the in the front row. Like, yeah, swinging. Saying you need to leave us all there. Yeah, You're doing his best. But to be at the end of the day, those fans are the ones paying their wages. Yeah, exactly. To they see him and the pathetic not turning season. Up. Um. Yeah. So mostly we, English players there. We've established. Yeah, that. which, which <laughs> says it's it all, doesn't it? Common, really common theme. Um. Other news were the little viral things we've seen this week. Anna Valencia, <laughs> we saw running away. From I don't this. know that. I don't know the ins and outs of this story, but if you haven't seen the video <coughs> online, find it. Find it. <laughs> we have it's tweeted so it. We'll, we'll retweet it again. Uh, Valencia, essentially, is he Colombian? Ecuadorian. Yeah. Ecuadorian. Ecuadorian. Yeah. Yeah. He um he got substituted in I don't know second half or whatever, and um, not only was the manager waiting for him, uh, <laughs> the whole of the Ecuadorian police force were were waiting for him to come off. Cause, he had they had a, a warrant for his arrest for um, was it child not support. paying child support or something, which is ridiculous. When yeah, he when he gets that much money, money. Uh, and essentially he feigned an injury <laughs> and, <laughs> and jumped on the back of an ambulance and tried to escape. He told they me, chased him, though, yeah, and all the police officers just chased him around the state. It's like some I don't know, something like a Benny Hill movie. Or something. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> we'll have to find out what happened to that. I don't know if he got away or not. I don't know. Well, if he's yeah, the great escape of yeah, Valencia. Valencia for not paying child support. Mm. Uh, but for, yeah, please find that video if you haven't seen it. Yeah, it's we so, will. So we'll tweet it again. Definitely, is a laugh. Uh, Patrice Evra, oh, having a yeah. happy Monday, singing to uh, what, was, what it? was it? Ain't no mountain high Ain't enough. Yeah, enough, yeah. Um, I think he's got quite a good good set of lungs on him. Yeah, he was a bad, bad voice. Decent voice. Yeah. yeah. If well, when his career, uh, football career's said and done. Yeah, 
Why yeah, not? Get him in the charts. Get him on the French X Factor or yeah. whatever else. Yeah, that was funny. That um, was funny. Yeah, not a lot of news actually though this week. The no, there's one, not the, a lot the big of... serious one is FIFA saying that they're going to make it a 48 team World Cup. Yeah, um, which. You you were I'm I'm quite against it, but you were kind of. I mean, I can see I can see what it does for for the smaller teams, like teams that would never ever get to a World Cup, mm. and players that would never ever play in a World Cup. They can say, "Oh, I'm but I feel like in a that's World Cup. if you're not there, then you're not, not there for a reason." Good. Yeah, it's not it's not a charity thing, is it? Like just so Moller, come on. Okay. No, but essentially all he's doing is putting the the playoff round in the tournament, which seems like a waste of everybody's time, really. Yeah. When it already. A waste of air miles. It is a waste of air miles. Fly you out there and send you back. Yeah, two days there, lose 6 0 to Brazil in the playoff, and then. (laughs) Yeah, silly idea, I reckon. Well, they're doing it for for TV money, aren't they? Oh, yeah, it's all about money. Because we know FIFA like a bit of. A bit of cash on the side. Cash, don't they? No, yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. They like a bit of extra cash, and they like to pretend that racism's gone. And that's that. That's FIFA. In a nutshell. Yeah. So, uh, yesterday, last night? Tuesday, was. whatever that was. Was it Tuesday? No, what day is it today? <laughs> what day is it today? It's Tuesday, Tuesday today. Yeah, so Monday, Monday night, <coughs> Christian Benteke broke... Uh, the world record. record. Mm. Yeah, the quickest international goal ever. I think it was six seconds. Yeah. Ag- against Gibraltar, wasn't it? Oh, that's less impressive, but still. But still. <laughs> um, and he's, he's stolen the record from a San Marino player. Who scored against England? Ugh. Brilliantly! Um, I can't believe that. How many? How many professional eight, goals have they scored? Out of the probably eight goals they've ever scored, one of them's against England, and it was the quickest goal ever. Um, but, but they've, they've scored tonight as well. It's Norway. The first time in five years. Yeah, and there's mad celebrations yeah. against Norway. So we we did some research into. Um, well, I don't know how. I intense came, research. Intense in the important research. matters. Yeah. Of, is what we're about. <clears throat> of ridiculous names in the England setup. Yeah. I don't know how I came about it, but I was. Oh, I think I was watching those um, Warnock videos about yeah, Phil, yeah. Phil Jagielka. And I was. I don't know. I Googled Phil Jagielka. Because you need to know more about Phil Jagielka. Yeah. Always. Everybody. The world needs to know more about Phil <laughs> And this is, this is what we're going to give them. This is the platform for Phil. Phil, players like Phil that. Jagielka's middle name. Is one of the most bizarre names I've ever heard in my life. I mean, I see Jagielka. I, I don't know how of an English name Jagielka is, mm. but his middle name is Nicodem. Yeah, spent N I K O D E M. I feel like he's got some other nationality in there. Jagielka. Yeah, Jagielka. I think he has some something like Turkish or something weird like that. Not that Turkish is weird. <laughs> weird for him. Um, he doesn't look very Turkish, does he? No, but I feel like there's definitely something there. But yeah, Nick, I've never heard of that word, Nicodem. name, whatever it is before in my life. Um, let's see, where were you born, Phil? Oh, he was born in Manchester, wasn't he? He's a, he's a mank. Well, he started at Sheffield, but Oh, yeah, place of birth, Manchester. Early life. Possessed great pace as a youngster. Well, where did that go? <laughs> no, he doesn't say anything. So yeah, maybe not. Maybe it's, it's just, just a random a... weird name. Um, so then I dug a little deeper because we're investigative like that. And obviously, I think it came out a couple of weeks ago about Joe Hart's real name, name. not being Joe. Charles Joseph John Hart. I don't know why you give up the name Charles. Charles Hart sounds I'd better like than Joe Charles. Hart. Yeah, I like name. I mean, to be fair, you chuck anything with heart, and I think it's going to sound all right. It's quite a cool surname. Yeah, it's compatible. Maybe I don't know. Maybe he fell out with someone called Charles. But probably the worst. <laughs> we don't. The worst of the current players. Yeah. Well, like, we don't know what Mr. and Mrs. Shaw were thinking here. Mm. Um, but do you want to do the honors and reveal yeah. Luke Shaw's full name? Luke Paul Haw Shaw. Haw. It's like a, a little nursery rhyme. Haw. His middle name is Haw. H O A R E. So it's still, not as bad. It still sounds like. But it's, phon- like it's phonetically, still, yeah. It's still. And also, his surname is Shaw. So it's like Hawshaw. Yeah, it makes I don't, I don't know. It makes it even worse. Yeah, idiots. Idiots. Idiot Mr. and Mrs. Shaw. Yeah, we had, and I've got a little list. Oh, here can I just say, the, uh, Luke Shaw rhymes with Haw. Does he? Yeah. You've not seen it all over the papers. I don't think so. When? 
Oh, it, oh, in his in his vast career of <laughs> yeah. his vast womanizing career at the age of twenty one or however old he is. And Mary is a, a little brasser. Yeah. Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah, let, uh, I hasten to add allegedly. They could pull anyone as well. Yeah. yeah. Was it? Uh, I, I, Rooney. Rooney Rooney's. started off the trend, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> if Rooney influences, we've rubbed off on him. I don't know if I if I, I read the article wrong, but I no uh, no no no, it's true. It's facts. <laughs> it's facts. No. I do remember reading. It's on now. the Goldmouth Ramble podcast. It's facts. Equals. Fact. Yeah. It's got to be. Right, so some of these other funny names. So D- David Seaman always made me laugh when I was little, obviously, because it's Seaman. ejaculate. <laughs> it's always funny. Little topic. And also, he was just a funny character, because look at his hair. Like, yeah, just look at it. just you funny know. to look at. You just... can't be called Seaman and have hair like that. And look like a like a 80s porn star. <laughs> <laughs> he was quite Ron Jeremy-esque. Yeah, he was. So some other funny names. Yeah. Burnt Haas Burnt was Haas. a very good one. I, I like that. Uh, Summer in West Brom, right back, I think he was. Cheeky Arsa, who played for Paraguay, <laughs> but he had a mean free kick on him, actually. Oh, really awesome. good free kick. Mm. Um, Andre Muff. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, his career was blighted by injuries, the Swiss striker. It's a shame. Could have seen more of him. Ralph Minge. Oh, there's a lot of genitalia involved here, isn't there? Danny Shittu, of course. Oh, of course, Danny Shittu. Paul Dickoff. Genitalia again. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Rod Fanny. It's always about genitalia. We were a very immature race. My favourite, I think, is uh, I don't know if he's still in the Chelsea youth system or if he's spread his wings in, in elsewhere, but it's Naughty Naughty. Oh, yeah, it says it here. In fact, it'll say what he is. Naughty Naughty. I never no. heard of him until just now. No, bizarre think, name. Pronounced Naughty Naughty. Oh, Naughty Naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, part of the Chelsea Academy is still looking for a club. Such a shame. <sighs> Muff, Fanny, Dickoff, Dick Naughty Naughty. Yeah, Seaman. It's just it's gross, gross. It is. It's the lowest common denominator and we're just loving it. If, somebody, what, if somebody turned on the podcast at that minute right there. <laughs> I doubt anyone's <laughs> clicking on this and thinking I'm going to skip first half an hour. So, should we talk about Savini versus England then? Oh. It won't take long at all. Well, England's winning <clears throat> winning run in qualifying campaigns has come to an abrupt and turgid halt. Mm. Not a lot to talk about at all. Did we even have a proper I don't think we effort did. on target? No. Slovenia were definitely the better team, I'd say. They looked a lot more dangerous than us. Oh, um, yeah. Well, a couple of, in that first five minutes of the second yeah, half, Joe Hart made at least two the first amazing half, and then, yeah, Joe Hart. Was that direct from the corner? Uh, no, that's just no. my head oh, on that, right. yeah. And then, yeah, Joe Hart basically kept us a, a point tonight. Which is Joe Hart. Still top of the table, though. Two points clear of Lithuania, I mean, which I Lithuania, think are our next. Slovenia. Are they our next? I think they're our next. I think we've got Lithuania and Scotland next. Mm. I think yeah, we haven't right. played them yet, have we? Uh, in a group with Lithuania, Slovenia, Scotland, Slovakia and Malta, we should be flying away with this. Early but days. it's England. And we don't oh, we never do anything easy. Either. Yeah. So we'll we'll soon see. When do we play next? Is it not till November? I think. Oh, we've got well, Scotland. It's not. It's not. One. Yeah, it's not long. Yeah. We've got. Oh, in fact, no. I think we've just got Scotland, and then it's yeah, a got, friendly against Spain, Spain. I think, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. That'll be, be fun. And then, <laughs> and then Lithuania must be mm. in the new year, so which we'll, Southgate uh, will or will not be in charge for. Yeah, is he just doing the next two? Well, he's yeah, he's got he's he's interim until the end of the year, so until after the Spain game, right. and then. I think they've got a bit of a break until about March, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if they can make a proper decision. See what happens. Mm. Would you keep him at the minute based on this? Based on the fact we beat Malta 2 0 <laughs> and drew 0 0 with Slovenia, I'd say no. Yeah, results wise, it's not good enough. Dropping Ruin is an, a, an interesting move. I think that shows a bit of character, which we did yeah, not, he's not expect he's not from af- Southgate. No. <laughs> he's not afraid to back himself and make the calls that yeah. need to be made. Obviously, a part of the whole dropping Rooney move that Southgate's gone for is <clears throat> he's going to have to replace Rooney as captain and of, although it's not permanent but yeah. Henderson got the nod thoughts? I'm happy there was a bit of uproar weren't there not, yeah. you're not going to please everyone but I think Henderson took a bit of flack and I don't really know why um, no he's I mean he's he's captain of Liverpool who are second in the league mm, I think and playing really good and Liverpool are arguably playing the best best football in the, mm, in the, in the apart league apart from Spurs <laughs> <laughs> every week I get used to it 
But uh, yeah, so yeah, he's captain there. He's captain Liverpool ever since uh, since Gerrard Gerard. left. Yeah. So it's at least a season. Yeah, at yeah. least a season. Season and a half, isn't it? Yeah. And he's done well. He, he leads well. Good team player. I think he's quite disciplined. Um, and he is. I think he's quite underrated, really, Henderson. I used to. There was a spot when he first signed for Liverpool. He weren't quite up to it, was he? No, he worked on it. there was a bit of questions about his price mm. tag, etc. And he's, he's justified all that now. I think he's a really good player. One of, probably one of England's best players, really. Yeah, um, which, as much as we've praised him, also does say a bit about yeah, yeah. England as well. Yeah. Something we're going to discuss yeah. in the next podcast is <clears throat> I was look, I was dreamily looking at pictures of Poch earlier today. Can't help it. What happens to the best of us. Mm-hmm. And um, I decided that he looks quite a little bit like the actor Benicio Del Toro. Um, sort of at a push. At yeah, a push. You could make yeah, if you, squ- like if you yeah. squinted your eyes a little bit and use your imagination. Yeah. So we thought, and we want your um, suggestions, suggestions for this please. for the next podcast. So send them into goldmouthramblepod at gmail dot com mm-hmm. and Twitter, etc., etc. Yeah. At gr underscore pod. Yeah. So we want your recommendations for football managers or footballers. Yeah, um, let's, we're going to try. Let's pretend to make managers a football and players. Film. Yeah, the biggest names: Mourinho, Pep, Wenger, Poch, <laughs> Klopp. Big, big names. Um, um, yeah. So any if you could any actor in the world, looks wise, that's vaguely similar to them, could play yeah. them. Who who would you pick? Who would you cast? It's, on that note, Vardy has said who he wants to play. Yeah, James. James Corden. Corden. He's going uh, to have to trim down a bit, isn't he? Yeah, and probably yeah. And, I, I'm not fancying the body fit. He says it's getting done though. He says it's but, it's in writing stages. What is? I don't really want to see it. What is there? What story is there to tell? I mean, there is. A, it's a good story, but we we know it, and that's it. You don't need to Hollywoodize it. Yeah, I mean, what um, what extra is a film about it gonna gonna give us? I don't. Yeah, uh, it's silly, but well, crazier films have been made. So. They have. So yeah, send us in your 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 perfect casting list mm. for casting call for football lookalike people Mm -hmm. that's what we're going to call it from now on um to goldmouthramblepod at gmail.com or on twitter at gr underscore pod hate international weekends i really dislike them um but yeah so the premier league is back with a vengeance. Yeah. So we are going to... Massive weekend. It is. So we are going to do uh, a few predictions, me and Jake. Again, we're discounting Sam because he couldn't be bothered to turn up. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're going to, yeah, do some predictions and see how we do. Um, so the first game, the early kickoff on the Saturday is Chelsea versus Leicester. Right. Um, Leicester aren't really up to it yet this season, are they? I reckon 2-1 to Chelsea. I was going to say 2 0. So Chelsea Diego, wins. Diego Costa is probably going to nab again as well. Yeah. I'd rather. Might put, yeah. put a bet on that, in fact. Just put a bet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so both gone for Chelsea wins there. Next game is Arsenal versus Swansea. Is that Bradley's first game in charge? It is, it will after, be, yeah. After Greedland's sacking. We'll talk more about Greedland's sacking on, the, on that podcast. Uh, Arsenal will win, probably. 3 1, I'm going to go for. Yeah, I fancy a bit of a big win. Maybe maybe 2-0 for me. 2-0. Yeah. Both Arsenal wins again, yeah. though. Bournemouth versus Hull. Mm, that's a tough one. Probably Bournemouth. At um, home. 1-0. I'm going to go 2-0 Bournemouth. Yeah. Man City versus Everton. That's quite mm, a big game. That is a big game. Uh, well, after, after Pep's crushing defeat at the hands of the mighty Spurs... City. He needs to get something back on track, don't he? I think he will. I think they'll. Uh, I think Everton might suffer a bit of a backlash there. We've had two weeks to prepare as well. Yeah, I reckon three one. That's exactly. City. That's exactly what I yeah. was going to say. Three one. Oh, great City. minds. Stoke versus Sunderland. Good grief. That's uh, what the Premier League is all about. I predict no one caring about that result. That's what result I think it's going to be. 1-1. One, one. 
Yeah, you may. Is Moyes still there? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that could that could be a game that leads to a managerial sacking. Yeah, it there. Could. Stoke if, if one of them two loses that, I reckon they could. Stoke, be especially at home. Yeah. I'm going to go for a one-one draw there. Yeah. Same. Yeah. So West Brom versus versus that team from North London that I'm sick of hearing about. I right, Spurs, big win. It's got to be. Uh, six nil. Six one. Yeah. Uh, six nil. Six nil. No, no. Um Two one to Spurs. I think it'll be tight. It's at the uh, Hawthorns. I'm going for a, a a slight upset here. I'm going to say one all. Not get lost. A one all draw. Do that to spite me. No, 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 but West Brom are... Shit. Yeah, I don't know why I have that game at all. But I'm going 1-1. A bit of a, an upset there. Uh, Palace versus West Ham. West Ham away from home. That would work. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, do you know what? I'd say I reckon they might get off, off the ground this week. 2-1 to West Ham. I'm going for another 1-1 draw there. Yeah? Can't split them too very... Average yeah. teams. Right then on to Sunday's games, Super, super Sunday. Sunday, which is not many, not very super this week. Is Middlesbrough versus Watford? Is the first game nil nil? I reckon that could be a nil nil as yeah. well. I might go for Watford to pinch it one nil. If anyone's going to win, it'll be Watford, but I think nil nil. Uh, and then the final game. Oh no. Oh, bloody hell, no. Oh, There's a game on beautiful, Monday. Good beautiful. Group. Wow. Which we won't be discussing in the podcast. Oh, that's a bit shame. That is a bit shame, yeah. Um, but uh, Southampton versus Burnley is the other Sunday game. 1 0 Southampton. I'm going to go 3 1 Southampton. Goals. Goals. Really? Goals are plenty. Interesting. And then the Monday night game. Probably the game of the weekend and the oh, only absolutely. game we won't be covering um, is uh, Liverpool versus Man United. I don't know why that's on a Monday night. No, that's silly. That should be a that should be a Saturday. It's almost as though they don't respect what we're doing here and they're trying to show us up like it's, on a Monday. It's an absolute shambles, isn't mm. it? Really? Um, oh, very tough. Very very tough. Liverpool at home. Uh, two two. Ooh. I am also going to go for a draw, but I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I think it'll be very tight. Neither, neither wants to lose that, obviously. And there we go. There are our perfect predictions, mm-hmm. which are... If you're a gambling man, pay attention, because yeah. we win. Pile on. Yeah, once a year. Okay, so we are ready for the quiz answers. Yeah, we could. It's the end of the podcast, thank God. For all you listeners. Only a short. Well, I said I said last week as well there wasn't much to talk about England. Yeah, wasn't, you said maybe, but no. We waffled a lot today. It's that empty empty air that Sam's left us. He left us hanging. Yeah, no nonsense playing about. Mm. Thanks, Sam. He does. He does uh, digress a lot. So you're twenty three players in. Number oh, in number order, okay. which is inconvenient. But um, the oh. number one is David Seaman. Ron Jeremy. Number two, uh, Sol Campbell. I crossed him out. You got rid of Sol Campbell. Mm, I remember he missed a few tournaments at some point. Game in two for me, two out two. Uh, he was at twenty three. At the young. Year. I can't imagine Sol Campbell being young. David Seaman was thirty four in nineteen ninety eight. And he, no. and he still played in 2002, didn't he? Jesus, yeah. Well, that Ronaldinho. Yeah. yeah. So he's 38. No wonder Ronaldinho. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, number three is Graham Lasso, which I did not have, oh, but didn't. Jake did. Lasso, solid crew. Yeah, a cl- famous. classic five-side football game. Yeah. Fantasy football game, whatever. Um, number four, Paul Ince. Yeah. Yeah, both got him. Governor. Number five, Tony Adams. Yeah. Both got him as well. Number six, the man of the moment, Gareth Southgate. Yeah. Both got him. Number seven, the the villain of the tournament. Yeah. Effigy's been burnt and everything. Every, oh, it was yeah. horrible, horrible, wasn't it? Good turnaround there. Well done, Bex. Yeah, David Beckham, number seven. 23. I thought he was younger than that. Mm, I, did. Oh, I feel less sorry for him now. Yeah, I thought he was true. like a young 18-year-old kid. Mm. Uh, David eight, David eight, number eight, mm. David Batty. 
the, the most team. average. Well, like, this says a lot about the state of the England squad. Yeah. Here. Number nine and captain Alan Shearer. Yeah. Uh, number ten, Teddy Sheringham. Oh, you didn't put him I in. I didn't put Teddy Sheringham no. in. You did though. Yeah. Thirty-two at the age of the tournament. Fuck yeah. Yeah, he's getting on, isn't he? Number eleven, Steve McManaman. Mm-hmm. Both had him. Underrated player. I think he was good. He was all right. Mm. He played. Well, he played from played for Madrid, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. I think that were money making moves. Uh, English oh, player. Yeah. Well, I, I win. Yeah. Uh, number 12, Gary Neville. Mm-hmm. He was 23, oh, I guess, really? well. I well, he's well, the same age as Beckham, isn't he? Yeah, like, yeah. Class of 92 and that. Um, Nigel Martin, mm, number 13. Him. I didn't. Darren Anderton, number 14. Yeah. We both got him. Sick now, weren't they? That was the... oh, you Sick got Beckham, now, Anderton, sorry. yeah. Yeah. Well, this hit. Well, here we go. This is one that neither of us got. Paul Merson, oh, number Merce. 15. No mm. way. He'd still be playing. I don't yeah. think, think you were good enough for England, were you? Uh, I think he'd be all right, you know. How old were you then as well? 30. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah. Yeah. Was he at Arsenal then in 1998? Was he at Villa? Oh, oh Arsenal, I think, yeah. Well, because yeah, he was shit, was yeah. Arsenal. Number 16, Paul Scholes. Yep. Yeah. Scholes, eh? Number 17, the, I didn't even consider this name when making my list, is Rob Lee. Fucking hell. Yeah. Rob Lee. Nah. Born in I 19- guess that in a million years. Born in 1966. Fucking hell. He's got... 32 at that age. Yeah. I didn't even... I did. I forgot he existed. Yeah. Sorry, Ridiculous. Robert. Number 18, Martin Keown. Yeah. Oh, Rob Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Number 19, Les Ferdinand. Oh. I, cro- oh, I crossed, him, crossed him, out. him out. as well. I crossed him out. I put Heskey in instead. Jesus. Uh, number 20, Michael Owen. Young 18 year old lad Wonder goal bursting onto the Argentina. scene. My favourite ever goal, maybe that I think. Apart what, from England or ever? Favourite England up there is one of my favourite ever. My favourite England goal is David Beckham free kick against Greece. Against Greece. That it's one's brilliant. Top. That. I smashed the TV when that happened. <laughs> I was in my bedroom and it fell off onto me. It was amazing that was. Oh, it? unreal. I can't believe we also celebrate it. That was stinks of mediocrity we were celebrating that much qualifying it for the world cup we drew against Greece to get through to the world cup yeah, <laughs> yeah. says it all number 21 Rio Ferdinand yeah so I, I mean. didn't have him in mm. aged 19 yeah. at the time uh, and oh well, there's only 20 there's only 22 oh well not 23 so we've been we've been sold a lie Ooh. or we sold you a lie but number 22 <laughs> was Mr Tim Flowers yeah. himself is that it then? That's it, only no 22. Dixon. No Dixon. How many... So have we missed the... Uh, I had Ian Walker mm-hmm. in goal. He didn't make it. Spurs you had David it. James as well. He didn't make yeah. it. I think that was a bit early. A bit early for I think he was a bit shit at that time. <coughs> Not much Lee change, Dixon, though. we both had him. He wasn't there. I had Stuart Pearce. Mm, I think he was 96 and done. Yeah, I remember him playing in 96. Yeah. Um, Phil Neville as well. He must have not been... Uh, he must have been a bit, a bit younger than Gary, didn't he? so maybe he didn't make it. Uh, I had Nicky Butt. Nicky Butt and Paul Gascoigne again. Gascoigne were a bit earlier. I think he'd done by then. I had Nick Barnby Jeez. struggling for left midfielder ideas, so I just chucked Nick Barnby. Would you rather have Nicky Barnby or Rob Lee? Barnby, Barnby, all right. I, I Rob Lee would mediocre at best. I think like, he played for Newcastle, didn't I think? He was just, yeah, Who do Nicky Barnby play for his peak? Played for Liverpool for a bit. Uh, played for Leeds. Hull. He ended Hull. finished at Hull, didn't he? I think. Yeah, I feel like he maybe started at Hull as well. I think that was his, his boyhood club, possibly. Did he play for a bigger team? Nah. Well, Liverpool and Leeds are pretty big at that time, weren't they? Andy Cole as well, we both had. And yeah. he weren't there. And it was, but I, well, I thought with the, the 99 treble, the mm, season after, he'd, he'd, have been, there, he'd have been in the thick of England. But I, yeah, I was saying, I think he had a bit of a spotty England career. I don't, think, I don't think he did much. I'm sure he only scored like five goals or something for England. Count them up then. One, two, well, I got three, 15 four, out of 22, seven, which nine, is not ten, bad. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So three points yeah. this week go to Jake. I get one because I turned up and Sam gets yeah. fuck all. For working. Idiot. So yeah, that's the end of uh, this week's England special podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been pretty pretty slim on content, but we've well, managed England to drag it out. Well, England have let us down, for... haven't they? What have we got? 45 minutes? That'll do. That'll do. Yeah. 
It's all right. Yeah, so as always, any funny stuff you see, send it in to us either on Twitter. I thought as well we should call it Turnstile Tales instead of Traumas. Maybe Turnstile Traumas is something people don't want to revisit. Yeah. Any funny, yeah, so, so funny... Um, turnstile tales. Funny turnstile tales of uh, match day experiences. Mm. Um, anything you see in the news, on the internet, that you think Maybe we should Maybe some be. throwbacks as well. Some yeah. interesting throwbacks would be good. I'd like to see some old classic... Yeah, bio, your, your favourite football through. memory from years gone by. Yeah. And of course like the football movie that we're not going to make. Cast it, cast yeah. it for us. Do a job for us. Yeah. And then we'll... We'll just chuck your list in bin probably after that. I'm not going to pursue it. No. No, I'm not bothered. Just want to hear what you say. So send anything in. Literally anything. Send us hate mail if you want it back. <laughs> It'll give us something to read. Yeah. Um, Goldmouthramblepod at gmail.com and or on Twitter. Follow us on Twitter at gr underscore pod, which there will be a competition mm. when we reach 500 followers. We're next, currently it. Next year. We're on 86, I think. 86. Which is doubled since last week. So, podcast. at this current rate, in five or six weeks' time, we might be halfway there. Anyway, yeah. thank Sign you up. for listening again, and we'll be with you well, on, Mon- back? on Monday. Oh, we oh really? That soon? That soon. They're going to subject people to more drivel well, in five days' time. The more shit you put out there, the more likely it is to get a listen, isn't it? Yes, people know it's in it. Yeah. No, it's 15 minutes. <laughs>